Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes! You're right. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh, uh, really? Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Uh, the knave? What are you doing here? Ah, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated, and we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. Thank you, very much. Wait, do you two know each other? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm, usually. I would call this a coincidental encounter, but that doesn't quite fit this time. Besides, it never even crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. Thanks to the Knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui, which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become heroes themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately, I've never been one for such opinions. So, you're one who will try to change fate then? Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some things to take care of, and the children need my attention. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Alright, then we'll just... Uh... Huh? This isn't right. Paimon thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. It would not hurt to have Miss Navia listening in. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede's Sluice Gate, and this time it was the Water Levels in Poisson. These are both signals. Indeed, 
Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times, and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. Which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family. But Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such, even though you are not from the house. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh! That somehow makes Paimon feel kinda happy! The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only natural that I freely share it with you. some ruins, right? We can handle that. Excuse me, but may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? You need to rest. Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up to the hopes he had in me. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something... a distraction... to keep my mind off Malus and Silver. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, Traveler? All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Here's the map. Okay, the three of us will handle it. Come on, let's pack up and get going! <laughs> <laughs>